Wyzetta volleyball coach Scott Jackson has communicated with some of his players since the high school season was postponed. The handful that I've talked to, it's like, well, at least it's not canceled. You know, we got young people who are optimistic. At least it's not canceled. Um, and uh, we have something to look forward to in the spring. But Jackson is concerned about how spring high school volleyball will coincide with the club season. In addition to coaching the Trojans, Jackson is the director of Minnesota Select Volleyball, one of the biggest junior Olympic clubs in the metro. In normal times, J.O. clubs basically shut down in the fall so high school kids can play prep volleyball. But the club season starts immediately after the high school season ends and by spring is going full bore. I think it would be a really big problem if they're forced to choose. I think it would be hard on our high school environment. I think a lot of kids would, uh, would opt for one or the other, and it would be hard on the club environment too. But the reality is, if, they, if the high school league thinks about this, is you're asking a kid to choose between 10 weeks in high school or a 25, to basically a half year commitment in J.O. volleyball. Even if you love your high school environment, which would you choose? You know, if the J.O. club says you have to, you know, the, the J.O. club says you have to choose, the high school league's in trouble, the, the high school volleyball's in trouble. Jackson also feels there has to be a way for the high school and club seasons to run together for the benefit of kids who want to play college volleyball. During that time period is travel events across the country, hopefully we're clear of the virus then, that are high profile for them in terms of being seen by club, college coaches throughout the country. And they've already lost that opportunity last year. It's a big ask to ask them to lose it again. But again, I'm running one of these clubs in Minnesota Select, I believe I can build a schedule that gets my kids seen around the proposed uh, high school season to a great degree. Um, but boy, would it be helpful if they met us halfway. It would save families some money because there's a local qualifier right in the middle of this. That's a great event for them to compete in called Northern Lights Qualifier that all these kids generally play in, many, many of them play in each year, and they'll lose that opportunity if the state high school league doesn't have some kind of balance for just this one year. What really matters is the well-being of student athletes. Jackson believes everyone involved will make their decisions with that in mind. Long tips it down the line, Pernsteiner, and that'll do it. Rosetta has won the state title. Jason Malolo, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.